which inc um, increases the movement speed of the roaches, is now going down along with ground armor level 1. And now this void ray is trying to come in and do some damage, but zero damage caused, and instead it's just very close to losing it. Is now finally doing something useful with it and attacking these roaches as these zealots try to get in and do some damage. Unfortunately, it's just going to take forever to kill anything. It is nice that he's able to kill off a few of these roaches. It is going to force him to either pull back within range of this spore crawler, like so. But the void ray can sit just outside the range and attack the hatchery. Charging up on the hatchery and then attacking the roaches. Doing some good damage here. This void ray is finally doing what it was meant to do. Pathogen glands now being researched. Needs to do something here. Unfortunately, because these bases aren't connected by creep, these queens are so slow at getting there. Oh, and so much is going on now. This hatchery is going to go down if he cannot do anything. These speedlings are going to do absolutely nothing. In Manor's base, we have the Twilight Council finishing. We have a robotic support bay now nearly halfway down. We have one queen spawning, but it's too late for that hatchery. As that hatchery does go down, and now Manor, this Void Ray finally doing what it was intended to do and he's going to come down and take out this infestation pit as well because these queens are once again so far out of range by the time they've got here they are absolutely useless as this void ray is now over here attacking this infestation pit is he within range I do not think so I think he can move he is now out of range he is going to get this infestation pit which means no more infestors after these three melee attacks level two now going down oh dear it's absolutely horrible. Mana does get remotely supply blocked though. So much going on at this moment. I'm so, so excited by that Void Ray. Which has, I believe now, gone down. No, it has escaped. Look at that! One hit point left! One hit point that Void Ray escapes while I'm distracted. Oh my god. This Nexus is going to try to go down. But now a big push. A big push by Demarga's forces here. Speedlings and roaches, but the force field is holding the roaches off. Speedlings are doing damage though, they are taking down the sentries, which means the roaches are going to get in. This nexus should be cancelled now, otherwise it is going to go down one way or the other. No, chooses to leave it and instead push in. Interesting choice. These roaches and speedlings now are doing so much damage, but there are archons here. Blink is nearly finished. Grand Ruffins level 2 is a long way away, and there are not enough roaches here to finish. The job as more stalkers walk in, warp in. Needs to get these speedlings involved. But now the Void Ray comes in. The one hit point. 12 kill Void Ray. 13 kills. Now an instructor. Oh my god. This was so close. If he had managed to kill this Void Ray earlier. He does manage to fungal it now. It, this will be enough to kill it as he fungals it again. Finally this hero Void Ray goes down. In a blaze of glory. 13 kills. So many roaches took down a hatchery and an infestation pit all by itself. Demaga powerless to stop it. And now Demaga having walked his queens forward. I'm not entirely sure why. They are both full of energy. Can use them for transfuses. Obviously we'll be using them against any more air that's coming out. But there isn't any more air. There is only these three phoenixes. Which can be taken down with the, uh, the fungal growth. So, so easily. So this was maybe a bad mistake. This is going to hurt his economy. As he cannot drone as fast. He cannot make units as fast. With the lava inject. Moving his army up here. Perhaps going to sweep down here. But this could be a mistake. Does want to be careful with those. Oh no he's lifted all three up. What are you doing? As these roaches come to attack. Now it does stop the infestors from attacking. Oh now that is a good move actually. I take back what I said. I wonder why he was using all three phoenixes to lift like that. Meaning he couldn't attack them. But it stopped them from joining the battle. And Demarga's attacking force was crushed. Absolutely destroyed. Both these queens with full energy go down. Just two roaches escaped that battle. And now the spire goes down here for Demarga. But this is late, late spire timing. He wanted those infestors and roaches to do something. Instead he loses the last of his infestors. Having not been able to make more until right now, with the infestation pit being destroyed by that Void Ray, the infestors are coming out now, that's five infestors, as Zerg Ground Carapace Level 1 is finally going to be upgraded. 
Phoenix is just taking some pot shots at an overlord as they move into the base yet again. I'm going to sit in this position and watch and see what's coming out. This observer here knows exactly the army composition here. I must say, Manor is playing absolutely brilliantly in this game. He's expanding now to this location up here, having secured this with cannons. And this is a big army. This is a potentially game-ending army. One Archon, one Immortal, and an absolute ton of Stalkers. Does want to get those Zealots out in front to tank the damage. He does now have High Templar here with feedback, which are very good against the Infestors. Choosing to pull back for the moment. Interesting to me. As he does have a few more Zealots warping it up here from this pylon. Which if Demaga knows about he really would have wanted to take out. And now pulling uh, this entire force of speedings out of the way. This army is now engaging. Engaging on two fronts now. Having pulled the army out of position. This would be the perfect time to attack. If he could manage it. But no does choose to pull back for now. He had all those speedlings out of position. Does now know about this pylon, is going to get it. Stop any more such attacks coming in. This lair is now morphing to the hive. And these phoenixes are just keeping an eye on what's going on. But these infestors are going to catch them. They do fungal. Do not manage to fungal all three of the phoenixes. Oh dear. And now High Templar with feedback. Killing one infester. Doing damage to more. And now morphing to an Archon. Creep tumors going down, stopping that creep spread from expanding across the map. And a huge engagement. Speedlings get the surround, but Stalkers blink away. This is the last engagement. One of these armies will be crushed, and the other will be able to move forward and attack. Mana does have the defense at home, but it's not going to seem to matter, because he is crushing Demaga's forces. And Demaga is just not going to be able to remake in time, having lost those queens, having lost the lava inject, having lost too many infestors this game. And no energy on them as they all die. This is brilliant play from Mal's Manor. This is going to make him 2-0 up. Yes, it is. There's a GG from Demaga. Mal's Manor goes 2-0 up in this best of five series at the Assembly Cup. Oh, fantastic play by Manor. As we saw, just really good defence with those cannons early on. And then pushing out at the exact right time. That Void Ray harass at the start was so effective. Managing to keep it alive. And eventually take down both a hatchery and the infestation pit. Completely weakening Demaga's later push. Allowing him to take it down with ease. And okay, we will be back tomorrow with game 3. Potentially the last game if Mana can take it. 3-0. Of course, Demaga is a very good and resourceful player. He could always come back and eventually take this game. It is not beyond him to win three games in a row. And now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, join us in the chat at irc.funetic.net hash gaming. Send me cool StarCraft 2 replays, especially yours, to voctagaming at gmail.com. And now, join the Facebook page. Go to facebook.com and search for Vokta Gaming. You can join there, where we will be uploading the videos or rather the links to the YouTube videos when they finally do go up and we will be taking game requests and other kind of chat and general fun. So, thank you very much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with more Assembly Cup between Demaga and Mal's Manor.